There are a couple of different ways to clad your part, but the easiest, fastest way to get most of it coated is to dip it. So I have two little paper clips holding it by the horns here. You can grab it with um, pliers if you don't have anything to hang from. But if you don't have a wax pot, we'll cover other ways to do it. You first, before you dip, want to make sure that your wax is fully melted. Take a tool. Make sure you can go all the way to the bottom. And then see how much of a coating you're going to get. And then, once you're ready, take your final part. And just dip it all the way under. And pull it out. Okay. Now anything you don't want, you're going to peel off. But if you need to dip it more than once, that's okay. And there are other ways to build up wax manually, which we are going to cover next. So once your piece is clad, you can see that the inside has got a nice smooth texture, but then there are sections where it's not clear whether your part exists or if this is a wax strip. And you're going to want to remove those. So take a tool and just start working away from where you know your part is. This is a lot easier to do if your wax is still semi-translucent, but on the off chance that you don't have time or you can't handle your part while it's at the semi-translucent stage, you're going to take your tool and just use your um, horns and other components as markers for where you're headed on your part design. So just scraping gently, and then you can remove these paper clips at any point when you're ready. So once you have your wax part clad, well, you know what's about to happen.
nom, 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 nom. So we got to do a little bit of math now because there's this wax dragon head with some gemstones and bronze and a lower jaw. So the full assembly works like so. Fits around the finger. The jaw hinges. But we need to know a couple of weights. So first we're going to weigh the clad mask skull. And that is 38.91 grams for the bronze clad skull. That's the mass. Here's the lower jaw. And that is 1.71 grams. Now, if this is a full assembly going to be cast in one part, you can go ahead and just weigh the whole mass together. But if you have subcomponents, it's always good to weigh them just in case something goes wrong. Um, but since we have to sum these two anyway, add them together, we're going to just go with that weight that we have there, right? Which is 40.61. And then we're going to have to subtract the mass of the bronze skull and the mass of the garnet eyes. And so that is 34.9. We're going to subtract that from 40.61. And that's going to give us 5.71 grams for our final weight. So our part weight that we have to calculate on is 5.71s plus any sprues, sprues, used.